Hello, I'm Brent Ferris, and in this video, I want to go over some of the tips that we have inside of the profiler here. I'm still going to have my test script here. I'm going to make it do some stuff. Um, let's get rid of this garbage collection example. Um, and let's make it do that debug log, or maybe we'll make it do a thread sleep so it can be very obvious. Well, maybe not. It'll, it'll lock up the main thread. So let's go ahead and do that debug log. So we're going to make our int temp is equal to 0. Let's bring our debug log back in if temp plus plus is equal to 5. Debug.log hello world and temp equals 0. So we reset it. Okay, so some of the tricks we have here. Let's hit play and let's collect some data here. Let's stop it. Now some things we don't care about in this test are rendering, for example. We can close that out. We can um, close out, let's say, okay, I don't want this networking or this networking. Uh, I don't care about the physics in this example. I don't care about the audio. Maybe I'll care about the memory. I'll leave that one up. And rendering. I'll leave these three up. So uh, some things I don't care about uh, are vSync in this example. I don't, I don't care about that. So I'm going to turn off vSync by clicking its little box. Garbage collector I do care about. Physics I don't. We can turn that off. And I don't care about rendering. So now all we have are the scripts, which are blue. You can see the spikes there. And we have others in there, which are the purples. And we can see the garbage collection here in the brown. So now I only see the data that I care about. And I can continue uh, collecting data if I wanted to. So now I can see uh, all the stuff that I want. I can, I can kind of manage and filter down to the, only the things I care about. Uh, that being said, uh, there's a couple of things to note about performance in the profiler. So the performance in the profiler is going to be a little bit slow when you're testing inside of the editor because it has the overhead of the editor. In fact, you can profile the editor here if you're creating editor scripts um, or if you just cared about the performance of the editor. One of the ways that you can improve this is actually by attaching to your build, uh, your game build, the profiler. It's really easy to do on PC. It's pretty easy to do on uh, mobile. So to do that on PC, let's bring up our build settings. I just press Control Shift B. Let's check our player settings. I'm going to make sure it's running in the background just in case. And what I'm going to do is develop mode, development mode, and auto connect profiler. Pretty easy, right? Now I can just build and run. I'll just build it here. I, I IDK, and let's see it go. Okay, so I'm going to do a windowed mode. I don't care how big it is. We'll make it small. And I'll hit play. Now that'll start up. And you can see already that we have data coming in. I'm going to pause it. So I uh, notice this data is kind of grayed out, but we can actually still see what's going on here. We can still see our spikes. We can see uh, log string to console here. It's happening in 2.44 milliseconds, 6.3 uh, kilobytes of garbage collection. It's taking up 14.7% of the total time. And we can still see the editor results that we previously had here uh, with our test update. And you can notice that that time in milliseconds is a little bit higher, 306. It's about constant around 3 something. And let's go to our spikes here. And our spikes here are around 2.45. So if we look at those, they're going to be around 2.4, 2.45. So our edit, whenever we uh, test in the editor, it's going to be slower than if we test on a build. And that's because of the editor overhead. So if you build it out, that's a better way to, to figure out how the performance is. And it's also worth noting that you're, the performance is going to increase if you do not, on, uh, on the actual release build, and you do not build in develop mode uh, with attaching a profiler, because that still takes some overhead. So it'll be even a little bit faster uh, when you take it off of development mode. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Maybe, maybe the Unity editor is bogging it down with a bunch of extensions and all this stuff going on in the editor. So you usually want to use your profiling um, on the actual build itself, even the... Uh, whenever you want to uh, determine like timing and stuff. Garbage collection is going to be pretty pretty constant on uh, both of them. Uh, maybe a little bit different, but basically the scale is going to be about the same if you care about that uh, and the function calls. Some of the internal function calls in Unity are not going to be profiled out uh, as extensively, so that's worth keeping in mind as well. So connecting to mobile, 
actually does it over uh, Wi-Fi. So if you go into Active Profiler, you can enter an IP address, and you can type in the IP address of your mobile device that you built with uh, allowing uh, development mode with the profiler. So uh, you actually can profile on a mobile device as well. Um, just make sure you have Auto Connect Profiler on, and, and that'll start profiling. And if you don't have Auto Connect Profiler or uh, it's not connecting, you can actually connect via an IP address and enter the IP address of your device. So those are some tips and about uh, the profiler and the editor versus a build versus mobile. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you want to know some more stuff about the uh, Unity profiler, let me know about that too. Uh, but it's a great way to kind of dig down in and see what is actually taking up so much time in your program and how you can optimize the speed and performance, um, the garbage collection, everything else. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, maybe I'll make a new video on it. So until next time, I'll see you later.